we had the feeling like something's changing, there's, there's something happening, that the wind is changing, that we're kind of turning a page into a new chapter. And yeah, that feeling kind of manifested itself in the invitation to show in, um, in Firenze at Piti Uomo. Right stuck with me when I saw Ina Bausch's piece, uh, Rite of Spring. Uh, it reminds me like a, a rite of passage, like a kind of a, a thing you go through and, and come out on the other hand kind of changed. My first feeling was like the feeling you have when you partake in a tea ceremony. It's all, you come out kind of cleansed changed, altered in a way, and you, you kind of see sharper, you smell differently. Something like that I wanted to give to the, to the people coming to see the show. When we chose the different looks for the different models, they all kind of grew when they were wearing it, they all felt really like, oh, this is for me, nice. I can, I can really translate this, I can really carry this. And that was yeah, quite interesting to see happening. Once I figured out that if you just say hi to the models when they come in and show them around a bit, and even if you're busy to just take time to so half a minute, look people in the eyes, give them a hand and make them feel welcome. I saw the transformation in some people's attitudes. Mm -hmm. Somehow they felt engaged all of a sudden. I always like to let models be themselves. I don't change the hair that much. I don't put much makeup. I don't even like to take off the jewelry. Many of them were wearing part or all of their own, their own jewelry. Just letting them be themselves. For my clothing, they need to, because it's about your personality shaping the clothes more than the other way around. So yeah, if you don't dare to show your personality, everything just deflates. And I don't want to put my stamp on you. I, I want to offer something that's, that you can integrate into your world. And of course, I put a lot of my own self, my ego in my work, but once the clothes are out, I want them to be the clothes of the person who's wearing them. And I want them to become part of that story. Like imagine making a certain piece of cloth that makes somebody else feel so good that they can do their work even better. That's, that's, that's a goal. I realized lately how, how intimate my work is. I mean, people take the clothes home and you wear it on your body, on your person. I think it's quite privileged to, to have that position in, in somebody's life, but it's also a responsibility and, and a, you kind of give people a, parts of sentences to express themselves or like parts of the, the elements that they, they built their, not their personality, but how their personality translates to the outside world and also how they treat themselves. I don't think it's interesting that somebody looks like, oh, that's a young silhouette. I mean, you will see it, but most people will still integrate it with other clothes and other... And that's what I think is interesting, to, to see what you can do with it, because that brings new ideas for me. are so used to being carried by their clothes sometimes that, it's, that this takes a lot of adaption for, for, for many people. I mean, I've, I've been there, everybody's been there, especially as a, as a young person in, in your 
in your adolescence you you try out things you and and comfort is not always the first thing but you you just want to express yourself but i also want something else to happen i want relaxedness of mind a certain freedom of movement mental freedom as well that you don't feel restricted you know, i've had people telling me like I, i finally know how to move my body now i think if people feel relaxed and if people feel comfortable that's that's such a such a guarantee for beauty in a way sometimes it feels a bit against the current of things that are happening in fashion but it's just things that are in our approach like this genderless thing the, the timelessness the openness the sustainable aspect without calling it sustainable like these things feel more like starting points Sometimes I think like, ah, oh, I'm actually a ghost of the past. Am I 20 years too late? Am I from an older generation still doing things that are nostalgic? Or am I naive? But then at the show at Firenze, I was like, no, there's enough people that like this thing. Thank you.